Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist. I'm going to show you how to make a wrinkled paper effect in Illustrator. So I've opened up a new document, and what I've actually done is literally wrinkled a piece of computer paper and then stretched it back out, scanned it into uh, Illustrator, and this is what I got. And if you want the wrinkled paper effect and you don't have a scanner, there's a lot of um, websites that offer free wrinkled paper templates. And if you just look up free uh, paper templates, uh, you can find it. Um, but I've done it myself because it's, it's a really easy, a simple method to do. Um, so, and you may not want this color. So what you can do is you can, cop, um, you can make a new layer and just make sure the paper is on the top layer. And then you can select a color. Actually, you're going to want to go up to the rectangle tool. Just draw a little rectangle right below it on the light. Um, and actually, you can even lock this layer. Um, and locking it will just make it so that it's a little bit easier to draw and not mess with your paper. And so we've got the square. And I'm going to choose kind of a cream color. Oops. And so what I've actually done here is, in this layer, you can go to transparency and multiply and this will just give it it'll just make it so that the color and the image mesh except I've actually done it on that layer so multiply and there you have it you've got your nice cream colored wrinkled paper my name is Alex, and this is how to make wrinkled paper in Illustrator. Thanks.